so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial obviously i already got my eyebrows done so let's just get into this video. so first of all i'm gonna be priming my eyelid using my ferrarisi concealer and i'm taking this shade to just prime my eyes and get them ready for my eyeshadow So leaving that concealer there, I'm going to go in with my Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lip to just moisturize my lips. I love this stuff like so much. And I'm going to go in with this blending brush and just blend that concealer. Blend it out really nicely. So taking this decay palette and this white shade, I'm just going to use that to set the concealer on my eyelid. My eyeshadow for a good transition, I'm just going to take this blush in the shade number 4 and just blend that all over. I'm just using it as a transition color. So next I'm gonna go into my Blossom palette and I'm taking this shade named Jasmine. This it's a purple shade. I'm just taking that and blending that in as well. So next up, I'm taking this shade called Yerexi from my GLF Cosmetics palette. Like, I'm so obsessed. I'm putting this at the middle of my knee. I'm so obsessed. Really cute, simple look. And I want this look to, you know, match my hair as well. Next up, I'm going to take in this shade called... Oh, this shade called Tupac. And I'm gonna put that at the front side of my lid. Bring it down to my tear dot area. Making sure to give me the illusion of a cut crease. I'm going to take this shade called Sit Latte, Sit Latte for my GLF Cosmetic Palette and I'm just going to blend that at the outer part just to give my eye more definition. Taking the first big blending brush I use just blend out the edges. So straight up we're going to be going to my face and for my face I'm going to be using the Maybelline Luminous Plus Smooth Foundation in the shade 355 to give this a good shake. So first off, I like applying this foundation with a brush before going in with before going in with a sponge. My last tutorial was something interesting because it was basically something I have never done before. Naturally, I really don't like anything heavy for my face, especially with makeup. So I really don't care in beauty coverage, except my acne is popping. That is when I tend to, you know, mind you, I'm wearing a dress, so <laughs> you don't get to think I'm not wearing a dress. But once my acne is not saying hello, boo. I, I go in very, very lightly with the foundation. I don't even bother in building color with you guys. In building like layers upon layers. I'm not really a fan of that. So if I really want to use a foundation that I need coverage, I just go into something I know that has the coverage that I need instead of, you know, building 
foundation coverages. Mind you, my sponge is down. I'm just going to use that to just first do some foundation with my skin. So I'm going to be highlighting my face and I'm going in with this shade. I'm using like one of the extreme light shades. I want my highlight to be extremely popping to be. So I'm going to be highlighting underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, like you know the basic dream of highlighting my face. My cubic bow my chin and a little, 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 little bit on my forehead. So first off, before I blend, I'm just going to go in with my sponge and blend out the edges. Using that same part I used to apply my foundation. After blending the edges, go in my cubic bow, my shade, and reverse contour my forehead. So I'm going to be taking a new part, like this upper part, and just blend underneath my eyes. But before I go in underneath my eyes, I'm going to blend in the bridge of my nose and leave underneath my eyes to sit for a while before blending it out. I like how poppy underneath my eyes are looking right now. So to sort of set my entire face, I'm using this powder to set my entire face. You know the drill with this powder, it's a baby powder mixed with this different setting powders. I'm gonna go in with that same damp sponge and just set everywhere. I'm making sure to place that in, I'm not baking or anything on the sort. Just Reverse contour my face. So to contour my face, I'm going in with the Tara palette. So I'm just going to take this to highlight my nose and highlight, sorry, to contour my face and contour my nose. Make my nose contour to be extremely, extremely dark. So for blush, I'm going to be taking this ZK palette and I'm taking this hot pink shade here, right here, and it's in the number 5. I'm just going to take that and, you know, add some good color to my face. I've been such a I'm going to take the shade I use as my first transition color and just smooth that. Move that and leave my eyes. I just want to extend my eyeliner forward. I'm not doing a wink outward, I'm doing a wink inward. So I'm just going to give myself some beauty marks. I like doing them. I'm going to be highlighting my face and I'm going to use an eyeshadow to highlight my face. I'm taking this shade called Tupac right here. I remember at a point in my life I never had any highlights and all I, I will ever do to highlight my face is using, is using an, an eyeshadow. To do that and I achieve it very well, like very, very well, like very, very well. From down to our lips, uh, G 
pictures. Normally, I don't wear color lipstick. I'm just wearing this. This is in white, guys. This is the color. This is the shade of this lipstick. So, if you it's white, it is not. It's from the Too Faced Melted. Thank you guys, I'm overlying my lips. 